Hey, Marisa here with House Plant Delight. I just want to show you quickly um, a couple of plants that I had um, that apparently was not getting water enough and it got, you know, really pathetic looking in the project, you know, it's like getting a limp and um, I want to show you how the um, following day they look better. Well, actually this one particular one, the same day, looked much more better. And this other one, hmm, let's, let's go through each one. Okay, let's go through really good. Uh, decent improvement. <laughs> pitiful, pitiful improvement. Ay, ay, ay. Anyway, this is my, um, purple, um, waifu. This is my purple waifu. I showed you the other day, what was it, yesterday actually, and I was all limp, nasty looking, it looked like this pitiful one, <laughs> just like that, all, but I knew it would get much more better, so it and it did, I didn't lose too many leaves, <laughs> maybe one, two, three leaves, I definitely did lose, oh, this one came off, I believe, I could, this is a cutting, uh, I'm gonna have to plant, uh, put it in water or put it in soil propagation, we'll see what I'll do. Um, maybe i just stick it in here. Um, I have a little bit of honey in my hand, so let me stick it in there. Because I was doing some propagation a little bit earlier. So, let me just stick it in here, this little piece. And it will grow, this little piece. See this little piece right here that fell off. I have to that leaf there. Uh, let's put that in there. We got it in there. And it should grow nicely. What's this here? What's this? Ah, oh, this is no good. Broke a leaf. No good leaf. Oh, uh, so there were a few, a couple of casualty of leaves. Uh, otherwise, okay. Otherwise, I think it's pretty good. It'll grow more. And this long one, I'm gonna cut it down. But I'm gonna wait uh, some days from now, maybe. Maybe I'll wait another week or two and then cut it down. That way it will grow evenly and I'll have more to grow in there. Anyway, the purple wafer. And this one is my um, polka dot plant. I believe I showed this earlier. Um, this one, a lot of leaves. Didn't make it. Yeah, just take these off. No good. Neither. They're not going to come back. Right there. They're not going to come back. But I'm glad most of it they came back, and um, I'll be trimming them off. I should trim them off. I mean, trim them off now as much as I can. But they're they're dead. They're, they're goners. Um, yeah, they're goner. Look at that. They're goner. All of these. I'm gonna let it wait. Continue in that little bag that I have as a terrarium. Oh, more of dead leaves. But at least most of it, they came back kind of okay, you know, and I, there's a lot of new growth down on, underneath it. I don't know if you can see it. Can you see a little, little baby growth down there? Yeah, right there, in there. Oh, well. They'll grow. I gotta trim up a little bit more leaf, but otherwise, they'll grow. And then, this one is really, really pitiful. But I do have hope that it will return. I believe the stem are still good, the roots still good. Um, I just gotta really trim these off, you know, a lot. That's a shame. This was from a cutting, actually this was a cutting that I cut from a large uh, Fetonia plant that I have somewhere here, not this one, a different one. But um, that's what happens when you don't water them enough. These plants, the Fetonium, Purple wafer, purple wafer, polka dot plant, um, hot postas, nerve plant called the uh, Fetonia, and the purple wafer. The, in case you don't know what the nerve plant looked like, this is the way the nerve plant looked like. They look like, uh, I'm trying to get it out of here. <laughs> they look like this. See these red, the red plant in here, these right here. That is the purple, I mean the um, nerve plant. Fitonia. You can see it there. 
The reddish one, yeah. Anyway, um, basically you need to keep these plants, the soil evenly moist at all time. You have this very important. Otherwise, it, it provide lots of humidity. And if you cannot do that, then your best option is either to put it in some kind of a, a, a plastic bag or a fish tank, a bowl, just something to give it a greenhouse um, effect. In all honesty, and they will thrive that way. Um, unfortunately, I, they were doing okay all this time, several months, and um, but for some reason recently, I went to water my plant. I checked on the, my plants inside my um, fish tank. I have a, no, I'm sorry, not a fish tank. I have an actual greenhouse, miniature greenhouse, and um, these were in there except for this one. These were in there, and apparently I wasn't. Um, I didn't water them. I watered the other plants that are in there but I failed to water these. So they got really dry, the soil, and this is what happened. Um, oh, I'm sorry, it was these two <laughs> that were in there. This one, I had it out. This is the one I got recently, about two days ago, two, three days ago, and the sign said to keep it, the soil dry, and I decided to obey it, and I should have gone with my gut because I, I, I knew it was like similar to the um, Nerf plant. Um, but I didn't listen, I just listened to this and I let it dry out and this is what happened. Anyway, so keep it moist at all time, not drench. You don't want them pooling water in the bottom, sitting in it, then they will um, get root rot. You just you don't want the soil, you know, just moist, you know, at all time. Um, sun, well, these two need kind of a bright light definitely bright light this one can use the sun direct sun some direct sun i'm not sure about direct sun on this one on the um purple wafer but um definitely bright light on all three um so keep it high humidity well moist soil at all time bright light and they will thrive all right that's it for now good night